against the Twins. They're trying to find their identity like the Twins. Rocco Baldelli hoping that after the sweep set the stage for a good homestand as well. The Bernards batting order without Byron Buxton. Carlos Correa lead. Pauly got a good arm, throws a ton of fastballs. We'll work the right-handers in. The left-handers have hit him. to you by Ford. A.J. Pollock getting left field. Jared Kelnick in center. The Oscar Hernandez in right. Oh, I know one thing. You got good taste in numbers. Okay. On a cell phone. The Twins lost seven to six. They put together a three-run night. Max Kepler with a home run. Twins. And in there for a base hit. Not well hit at all, and we've seen correct. And I was delighted to hear him tell Trevor Plouffe that not that he'll ever put together Freeman's numbers. We hope that's the case. It's highly unlikely. Bowman checked his swing two and one. Well, I think the thing that he does his strengths. Act foul two and two. I didn't understand that. Ooh, my! Right over the ball boy's shoulder, right by the. <laughs> And over the inside edge, and Julian doesn't agree. That's not. Byron Buxton had been hitting there. Byron not in the lineup. And Carroll off two has that whole field. Him in a little bit. And well above the box, but a called strike. The problem with that pitch that was called a strike, not so much that one, clearly a ball, but that's in one. Another ball. Here we go. And that's Kepler flares at foul. Yeah, four lefties in a row on the pole side. That gets away. Both runners will move up. For, you know, is this sustainable for him? And I think it, where he's been getting his hits and then. One and two. Mariners playing the infield back. They'll concede a run on a ground ball. That skips to the plate. Now Raleigh got another chance there. He's got a lot of room down the right field line. Look Kelnick in center. My goodness. To Oscar in left. Everyone there shading him in the outfield. That's back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Kirilov. Just ran the. Count a little bit deeper and then got something that he could, he could get extended on and just went. Pinch hitting appearance last night. And he struck out getting a start. And as they did last night. Yeah, really pleased with the offensive approach. Really this whole road trip, but yesterday was good at bats. Swung on a miss, one and two. And that hit him. The hitters are doing something well. And 23 pitches, lots of traffic. Lot in there a strike. And that one cutting inside a foul ball, and it's 0-2. Well, uh, when you have a rep on a ton of fastballs, more fastballs than the majority of baseball. That's Castro making a bid for an extra base hit. Rounding third, Kirilov's coming home. Throw not cut off, and he's been trying to cut it off, but he didn't corral the throw. So an RBI two out hit to score here. Anthony's a strike. And then Castro on the back end of it also following it up. So two strikes. But he had Castro 0 and 2. And Farmer is called his France, Ford, Pollock, and Caballero. And Bailey over as he so often does delivers a first pitch strike as in Kelnick in their strike two. Yeah, your home furniture going into the break. He had five quality starts in and now two and two. This is his first start. Hit hard but foul. Yeah, pitching on a at some point and a base hit to left. Gallo, Castro, Kepler in the outfield. Farmer gets third base. Correa, Julian up the swing and a foul back. Suarez sandwiched between Crawford and Kelnick and the switch hitter Raleigh. Hot Castro back. 
to the wall. throw 30. He usually hits it. Last year out in front, strike one. Off of Perea's love. Looked like it was hit right for May of able to catch it. Really interesting to watch these first two left-handed hitters. Cal Raleigh, throw to first. Very close. Kelnick, we saw him take off in last night. Big swing and a miss. Jump steady, let's stay through the middle. And see if the Twins counter that by either, both of these Twins catchers. But Vasky back there tonight does a great job of reading hitters, trying to read they adjust accordingly. Well, a strikeout should help. And a quick one at that, one down. Double play his first time up last night. Swing and a miss for strike one. Now the disengagement counter. And there he goes. Swung on and missed a foul ball, I believe. And now a ball. Better throw, lower throw may have gotten him that time. Take off. Kelnick will slam on the brakes at second base. So in the inning, really not really full these Seattle hitters yet. A lot of hard throw. And there a strike to tie France. You could another swing and a miss as you pointed out last night. France has been scuffling a little. Up and away, one and two. Only two pitches, 16 strikes for Ober. That's not the problem. Right down the middle in 91. When he's good, he's living at the top of the zone and above. Deep neck will score. And throw in time to base. He ran through the stop sign. And right now is the second out of the inning. I'm back to the third base coach's box. <laughs> Trying not to show that frustration. I saw the same frustration. He said. France is going to be waved in. Hitler's throw to the plate, and he is out. Really, not really full of these Seattle hitters yet. A lot of hard throw. And they're a strike to tie France. You could another swing and a miss, as you pointed out last night. France has been scuffling a little. Up and away, one and two. Only two pitches, 16 strikes for Ober. That's not the problem. Right down the middle in 91. When he's good, he's living at the top of the zone and above. Deep neck will score. And throw in time to base. He ran through the stop sign. And right now is the second out of the inning. I'm back to the third base coach's box. <laughs> Trying not to show that frustration. I saw the same frustration. He said. France is going to be waved in. Hitler's throw to the plate, and he is out. 